Hello there, minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Legacy Studio. Now, I, as you guys know, I had my wisdom teeth pulled a couple weeks ago. It took forever to heal up from it. The pain was intolerable. I had a dry socket. I did everything right. I did everything right, and I still got dry socket, and it stank. It was terrible. In saying that, though, I really wanted to make video game videos for you during that time, and I just couldn't. And I went to you guys and I, I tried to come up with any idea I could, and I came up with one that I thought would be perfect no matter what situation I was in. A silent gameplay. No, 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 don't leave yet, don't leave yet. Listen, here's, here's how this is going to play out. Instead of just playing a silent gameplay kind of like a streamer, the goal would be, I can't make a peep. I can't make a sound. All I can do is basically breathe. Which means all the reactions, everything that you see in my face, that's all you get. And me trying to hold that back adds to the rage quitting situation. You get what I'm saying? But what game, what game would possibly put me in such a mood that it would make me want to rage quit? Getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Or Foddy. I don't know how to say his name. But you know, if you've watched YouTube and you have seen this game, this is the perfect rage quit anger game that we have seen so many youtubers play this is the perfect game for this so if you enjoy this if you enjoy the theory of it if you enjoy anything about this that like button needs to be smashed right here and right now or when do you like it i expect the i expect a like leave a comment down below if you want to see more as well and thank you so much for watching so it is time to go into silence or ASMR breathing, I don't know, because this is the most sensitive mic I have, as close to my mouth as humanly possible. We're going to capture every breath, every sound that I make. The goal is not to make any vocalization whatsoever while I play this game. All right, here we go, my friends. All right, so we're ready. We're ready for war here. This is hopefully going to be fun. Here we go. <laughs> fun for you. I'm going to hate every minute of this, but... I've seen this game and I've told myself I just don't want to play it. But, all right, here we go. Getting over it with Bennett Foti. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. All right, thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry, I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. Ah. 
This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of bee games. In bee games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut.
You can hit the escape key if you need to change the mouse sensitivity. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a bee game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery and the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Again. Keep on trying, don't let it get to you. 
This thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford. Whoop. If you need to take a break, it's okay. I've saved your progress.
the obstacles and sexy hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability <gasps> to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. The soul would have no rainbow had the eyes no tears. John Vance Cheney. The pain I feel now is the happiness I had before. That's the deal. C.S. Lewis. Oh. <gasps> uh. 
I feel within me a peace above all earthly dignities, a still and quiet conscience. William Shakespeare. You cannot now believe that you will ever feel better. But this is not true. You're sure to be happy again. And knowing this, truly believing it, will make you less miserable now. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> oh, that is the worst game I've ever played in my life. My gosh. Oh, that's so bad. So bad. So bad. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, minions, that's going to do it for this episode. If you did like it, please hit that like button. I'm begging you, hit that like button. Um, as I was doing this, obviously, Rage inset multiple times. I get why people hate this game now and love this game now. This is the most cringeworthy, um, intensive game ever. Oh my gosh. And I thought I was making progress and then suddenly it all. This, this, this guy who designed this is, is absolutely terrible and amazing. And oh man, what a terrible game. What a terrible game. I want to keep playing it. I really do. And I, but like I said, while I was playing this game in this moment, I had a few theories of things that we could do to make this silent gameplay thing even more interesting and weird. And I like the idea a lot. But you need to hit that like button if you want to see more of this. And please share this video out. You know how YouTube is. YouTube is not going to give us the light of day unless you show attention to this video. So leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. The more likes we get, the more I'll know we should continue this series. And I do think you should give this series a shot because there's some theories in my head that I really don't think I've ever seen anyone else do in this whole silent gameplay anger management situation that I think could be quite fun. 
uh, for you. For me, it'd just be terror. Um, for instance, maybe every time I make a peep, like I did multiple times here, maybe there should be some kind of a punishment. Or maybe we can make it more interesting in some other ways that I don't want to say out loud, but I think would be a one-of-a-kind thing that this channel could make worthwhile. So, minions, keep it crispy, my friends. First Tim 412. We'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio. What a terrible game. Oh, my goodness. Oh, by the way, don't forget to check out our merch store. Go and check out some of our Obviously merch. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you for your support of the channel by purchasing our merch. Um, and then also, if you like any of the equipment that you see in this video or you're curious about some of the equipment that I use to record all my stuff, um, links down below uh, for everything on Amazon. Those are affiliate links, and that also goes to help the channel. Thank you very much. Future Tim here really quickly. also want to mention my early access members, my amazing, humongous supporters uh, who are not only my early access members but my historians of some of the games that I play. If you are into what we're doing here on the channel and you want to support and help us go the extra mile, Two bucks a month gets you early access to all of our videos. As soon as I finish a video, I immediately upload it, and then I release it on a schedule, which means you could get it as early as the day I upload it. So consider becoming an early access member. It's a humongous help to the channel. Thank you so very much. All right, we'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio. Bye.